My mom is Samoan or Polynesian, and my dad is white. My parents met when they were both in the Army, and in 1984, we moved to Iowa when my dad was a recruiter. Up until then, I had lived my entire life on military bases around the world and had a very diverse group of friends, but that changed when I was eight. Almost daily, children and adults would ask me, what are you? And why are you so dark if you're not black? A comment that might seem harmless, but I can tell you makes a person feel small, insignificant, and self-conscious. In my head, I'm screaming, what do you mean? I'm human, like you. Can't you see that? This was just the beginning of the racism and microaggressions that I experienced, along with being called racially insensitive names like Aunt Jemima or being followed around the store. As a biracial kid in a town with less than 4% people of color, they were unable to label us and didn't understand us. People would often mistake us for black or Mexican, and it soon became very obvious to me that anyone with a dark complexion was typically lumped together, our traits generalized and dehumanized. These slights and invalidations were like emotional paper cuts that impacted my self-esteem and sometimes led to poor choices, which would later create barriers to opportunities. 